This is probably one of the coolest places on Earth to build a koi pond. If you think this view is already beautiful, wait until you see this pond. Today, I literally travel to great height where I can view the construction of this incredible beautiful pond. I don't do that alone, but with Shane from Art of the Art, who takes us to this paradise. Hey Evo, thank you so much for coming out to check out our project here in Littleton, Colorado. Um, we'd love to show you around. This was a uh, project for a customer that was actually a customer of ours about 16 years ago and we built a project for him out in Castle Rock and did such a great job out there. He moved to this location and there was a, a previous pond here that had some issues so we looked to be, rebuild it. So we've got the whole process started here, getting our waterfall set, grotto in. Some of the components that are going into this, we've got two of the Atlantic 15,000 skimmers. We've got two bottom drains, and they're all feeding up to a ProfiClear M. M or, I mean, then we're using the Atlantic 12 volt pumps. 12 volt pumps. Yeah, and the, the big importance of those pumps is that we want everything to be safe in here so that the family can swim in this pond. Um, so we've got to keep everything, the, the inline pump, centrifugal pump will be all grounded and then we've got the low voltage pump so that way everybody's safe in here. And basically this thing is gonna be about six feet deep um, when we're all finished with it. We're gonna be three feet above the concrete and we're gonna have two koi windows so you can look right in as you're driving up the driveway. That way the kids can swim, they can interact with the fish. We've got this awesome grotto that we built back here. We're gonna have water crashing over that. They'll be able to climb up in there and just have a ton of fun. Yeah, and so for these two windows on the design side of things, we wanted this window to be centered so you're facing right towards the grotto. And then we want the second window over here to be the perfect viewpoint for when you're coming up the driveway. Um, so we're pumping up top and it's the great part about it is the top of the waterfall is actually the top of the mountain. And it's just got an amazing view off the backside that you'll see with Chatfield Reservoir and all of Littleton, Colorado. So this is uh, probably about a uh, two month project. Um, right now we're constructing the main wall that's gonna go in here for the windows. Um, we're probably gonna put close to 70 tons of stone in this feature. Um, the main waterfall rock was a three ton stone up top there. Uh, we've got to still pour the footers in this front edge here, um, so that way this whole wall structure can be safe and complete. We're also going to be building three sets of steps. Um, they're working on the one up to the grotto, so you can easily get up there. Um, and then we're gonna have one to the left of that skimmer, and then one to the right of the skimmer here. And on this side over here to the right, there, there's gonna be a natural stone bridge that we bring from the existing deck into the pond. Uh, this whole water feature is gonna end up about 20,000 gallons. Yeah, so this will be a koi pond, plus a recreation pond so the family can get into this feature. And if you look up top there where they're working by the stones, um, those orange tape lines, that's actually water level. Yeah, so we've got two bottom drains going in here and then we're going up to the Profi Clear. And the reason we decided to go with this type of system is because first off, we have viewing windows here. So this has to be a really clear pond because you don't wanna be looking through these windows at green water. So we wanted everything to be clear, everything to be safe for the family to enjoy this feature. All right, so we're going up here to the side of the waterfall. Again, we've got the skimmer system in here. Um, our centrifugal pump is gonna be back here by the house. We're doing another set of steps coming up through here so they can access everything easily. Yeah, there's gonna be a pad here for a hot tub. And then this is the main attraction, the natural waterfall. Um, we set all these stones ahead of time so that way we could drive the machine in here. So we cleared everything out leveled this whole area so we could bring the machine all the way in so we could get these stone sets. Um, we've got two fast falls set in. Um, we're gonna be running about 14,000 gallons per hour on this waterfall. Now, how do you get these stones up here? With the machine. We use straps and uh, a lot of muscle to get these stones in place where they need to go. One of our uh, main goals uh, that we focus on as a company is to try to make the environment um, match you know, our waterfall and everything else. Um, so we bring in local stone um, so that it blends nice, all the moss rock, because um, that's pretty much all we have up here in the, in the Rocky Mountains. Um, and in case you're wondering, that was not just dug out for the pond. We had to jackhammer the whole entire pond out. It was all solid rock, so. Yeah, and when we're taking our rocks, so these Three stones over here that you see, these are all natural stones that were here as part of the mountain. So we really tried to blend everything in with the natural environment. 
There's a couple different things we can do when we're ready to fill this feature. We can uh, hire a truck to come out and uh, fill the whole feature, or we can just fill it from the hose. Which might drain their well, so it'll probably be, you know, the truck option. Um, it's a lot of water, so. Yeah, 20,000 gallons, it'll probably be two full trucks coming up here of water. All right, so there was a previous pond here before, and it was actually leaking so bad the water was going underneath the driveway, cracking the driveway, and then coming out on the other side. Um, so what we did is we came up here last October, we uh, put a big quarantine tank in the garage and then transferred all the fish into there. So that way, this wouldn't be an issue during the winter when it was draining so fast. And we've got those koi in there. So th I'm sure they're very excited to get back out here and, and have a nice big new home. Nice clean water. Yes. <laughs> it was, it was a, a bit of a cesspool before we touched it, so. All right, so this is the ProfiClear uh, Compact L. This is the main filter for the whole system. Basically, the water gets pump fed up into this chamber. Um, it goes through the rotary drum, makes it crystal clear, goes through the moving bed filter, starts growing all that good bacteria, and then it's gravity fed back to our waterfall. So this will do, you know, this is the primary filter. It'll keep this water nice and clear. This is what the fifth one we've installed, and we haven't, had any issues with it. Yeah, and so even though this is at the top of the waterfall, because it's gravity flow out, we've actually got the line from this running about halfway down the waterfall, so that way we make sure we have proper flow out. With the Oasa Control app, it allows you to control and manage all the important areas of your Oasa garden world, even while on the go. As a proud Oasa ambassador, I'm happy to answer all your questions in the comments. The nice thing about this filter is um, it's, it's almost maintenance free for the customer. It's all connected by an EGC uh, garden controller and that'll also run all the color changing lights in here as well. Plus but, both of our pumps. Yeah, and both the pumps. So basically they can get on the app. This thing will tell itself when to clean. If the lid happens to pop off, it, it sends a notification to the customer. So basically it's, it's self-sufficient. Um, very little maintenance you have to do to this thing. Yeah, so here what we've got for you, this is the design that we did for the koi pond. Um, and we like to do this because this way the homeowner, our foreman, everybody's on the same page. There's no, no questions, everything's good. So you can see on this here, we've got our, our front wall. This is the driveway. We've got our two windows that are going in here, the natural stone steps coming into the feature, and then the natural waterfall coming up here. We also do a 3D design just to give a visual um, so the customer can kind of see what they're getting. Um, obviously, it, it never looks exactly like it does on paper, but um, they can at least have an idea. So, And you can see here, this is the initial rendering. So we actually did just one pane of glass in this one, but then um, with the visuals that we wanted here, we decided to break it up into two different paint planes. <clears throat> So how cool is it to work on these type of projects with Shane and Pete? Honestly, I love it. Um, being able to learn something new every day, especially from pros like themselves, uh, definitely gives me something to look forward to every day, especially given what we're building now, I think it's gonna come along really well. And yeah, I love it, love every minute of it. Evo, thank you so much for coming up to check out this project. And uh, we're very excited and hopeful that you'll come back again to see it when it's all finished. And uh, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> subscribe, guys. And if you want to see another video of this tour here in the United States, go click on here somewhere. I will put a card. Go check out that video. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, guys, thank you so much for giving me a view yeah. inside your yeah, thank you. daily work. Uh, and I bet the people that are watching will appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.